Who's working on the weekend? We are attorneys Alexander and Catalano. Call right now if you need help. Oh yeah, thanks for the coffee. The heavy hitters are all you need. Call 1-800-LAW-1333. Dan Predmore, nose tackle. Nice. CBA senior Dan Predmore knows the severe consequences of football injuries. Earlier this season, Predmore blacked out after making a tackle. He was later diagnosed with a concussion. It was kind of weird at first. It didn't, it didn't sink in with me what really happened for a, f a few weeks because I was, I was stuck in that fog of headaches and nausea and that sort of thing for about two, three weeks. Much better. Senator Chuck Schumer says injuries like Predmore's are one of the main reasons he is pushing a new bill to improve football helmet safety standards. He says more and more information is becoming available about the danger of sports injuries. And it's our wake up call that we have to make sure that our young football players are outfitted with the safest and best helmets around. The Children's Sports Athletic Equipment Safety Act would address concussion risk, design for youth helmets, standards for reconditioned helmets, and the placement of clearly visible warnings. And Schumer and young football players say the time to take action is now. They've only learned a lot more about concussions in the last two years. So I wouldn't say we lag, but if we wait another five years, we'll be behind the times. So putting this sort of thing into place, I, I'm really happy for uh, everyone coming up through the ranks because they're going to be safe and they're going to be able to play the game without worrying. Schumer says at this point the bill has bipartisan support. If it's passed, companies will have nine months to make the necessary improvements to helmets. Reporting from Christian Brothers Academy, I'm Jessica Kane.